All right. Um, now that I've showed you um, the basics of creating stuff, I'm going to show you how to organize stuff. Um, basically, we're going to do the same tutorial. We're just going to create it a little bit faster. So the first part that we did was um, we created a box. So what we can do is, and so, um, sorry about that. And so uh, basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to do the same thing. All right, now, again, say we're creating our pillars. And in the previous video, I mentioned that what we could do is we could go to the move tool and um, you can actually duplicate, uh, go edit, um, clone, is what they call it. And you can clone that object into another copy if you want. Um, that's a nice thing to, to do if you're, you know, now you get, you have two. All right. Now the, the issue with that is, and I'm going to just take off these grids so you guys can see a little bit better. Now the issue with that is that cloning the stuff. So I'm say I've got this one, and I move it over. All right. Now I go in and duplicate it again. Oops. I didn't want to delete. Sorry. Edit clone and then say copy it again and then I move it over okay that's slow alright not only that is that slow but if I'm grabbing up here I can move it to the left and right now to fix that you can use the align tools um, if you click on your align tools and you click into uh, this you can actually I'll move this so you can see you can actually control the uh, whether you want it on the X position see if that moves over you can control it on the Y position and you can control it on the Z position depending on how you do this the align tools are really good tool to, to match stuff up real quick alright so I'm gonna just say okay whatever um, but that's I'm gonna delete these these now real quick so that's one way to do it another way to do it is if you hold down shift and you drag with the arrow key now you've comes up with the same cloning box but now there's something different because it gives you number of copies so say if I want th uh, two copies and I want to say okay now I've got two copies that are evenly distributed among that space which is good and then if I want I can move this over and I can just copy that so now I've easily got my pillars now if there is another way to do it and this is the the third way that I'm going to show you this is going to be a real short video so the third way that I'm going to show you how to do it is you go into your uh, tools menu okay and then you go into array now what array does it looks really confusing but it's really not so what the array does is the first thing that we're going to pay attention to is our count. So we're only going to put three just to make life simple. And then in the X uh, version, it's going to be in the thing. Now you can always hit preview, and it'll show you exactly what you're you're previewing. So so we're going to move this in the Y version, as you can see from the the bottom uh, perspective view here. It'll it'll arrange that in the Y and you can control if you go into the Y or you can actually move it up or down to the Z um, you can also move it move it in the X as well so you can actually rotate it around an axis if you want so there's that now make life even simpler I can go in a 2d version and if I want to go with a 2d version I can control so right now I've gotten the Y if I go into the X, I have just created the same thing I've done in the previous video with a lot less time and a lot less headache of moving that around. And then in the 3D version, I can go into another direction again. Um, so this is the move. I can rotate these if I want. I can scale these if I want. Um, I can also make them instances. And I'll show you that real quick. So if I'm going to do an instance, all right, I'm saying okay and now my instance um, say I decide oh you know what I want a little bit thinner 
So now I can move them and create them all thinner without having to go in and, and change every one. So that's really what you want to work smarter, not harder. So, you know, pay attention to the little tools that I show you as well as the big ones. All right.